Hey everyone, in this video we're going to solve this recurrence relation using something called the method of backtracking. So we have a sub n equals 2 times a sub n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1, and here a sub 0 is equal to 3. So let's carefully go through this and solve it. So solution. So we start by writing down our equation. So a sub n equals 2 times a sub n minus 1. So the method is called backtracking because that's what you actually do, right? You actually go back and you actually backtrack. So what do I mean by that? Well, watch. You just take this and then you use this. So you're backtracking. So we're using this now. So you replace n here with n minus 1. So when you do that, you get 2 times a and then replacing n with n minus 1, it's n minus 1 minus 1. So that's 2 times n minus 2. So you could do it in your head, but I figured I'd show you the work for the first example. So replace n with n minus 1, so that becomes n minus 1 minus 1, which is n minus 2. So this is equal to this. So we just simply replace it. So 2 a sub n minus 2. And then notice 2 times 2 is 4, but we don't want to write it that way. We want to write it in a way that's going to lead us to a pattern. So we write it as 2 squared times, and then a sub n minus 2. So, okay. Then we do it again. So you might say, when do you stop? You stop when you see the pattern. You will already notice a pattern, by the way, right? Look, 2, 2, 1, 1. They will always match. But let's go a little bit further. Let's do it again. So we have 2 squared. Let's backtrack again. Now we're going to replace all of the n's here with n minus 2's. So we'll have the 2. So we still have the 2. And then we have n minus 2 minus 1, right? So n minus 2 minus 1 is n minus 3. So this is a sub n minus 3. Right, because it's n minus 2 minus 1. Okay, now check it out. 2 cubed, right? 2 squared times 2 to the 1 is 2 to the 3. Then we have a sub n minus 3. And so now you clearly see there is a pattern, right? 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So we can continue with this pattern. And so when do we stop? Well, if you look at your initial condition, there's a 0 here. So you want to get a 0 here, right? So that will, that will happen when n is equal to n, right? So n minus n is 0. So you want this to be an n. So this is eventually equal to 2 to the n times a to the n minus n. But that's going to be 2 to the n times a sub 0. And we know a sub 0 is 3, so this is equal to 2 to the n times 3. That's beautiful. Notice you can put the 3 in the front. It's just good form. So 3 times 2 to the n. And it's even better form if you write your answer. So a sub n is equal to 3 times 2 to the n. And I like to put it in a box. It's funny how people like boxes, right? We put things in boxes all of the time. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to somewhere out there in the world who is working on recurrence relations, right? If you're having a hard time with this, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. This stuff is hard, but when you understand it and when you get it, it's beautiful. Take care.